The meeting with Democratic governors was a chance for the president to calm fears, but there are still calls for him to step away from the race. NBC's Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. Facing mounting pressure over his future in the race, President Biden and Vice President Harris meeting tonight with Democratic governors. We know we have work to do. Uh, we know that as we're standing right here, we're behind. And all of us said we pledged our support to him because the stakes could not be higher. That after the president rallied campaign staff in an all hands call telling them, quote, I am running and nobody is pushing me out. The White House press secretary reaffirming that. The president is moving forward. He's moving forward as being president. He's moving forward uh, with his campaign. Following criticism, he was slow to reassure lawmakers the president speaking today with several top Democrats, all part of an effort to ease anxieties and tamp down calls for the president to end his reelection bid after that disastrous debate. Even close allies frustrated the public hasn't seen him since in more off the cuff appearances. He's got to show the American people that he can do this job and he can't be wrapped in bubble right now. The number of Democratic lawmakers publicly calling to replace Mr. Biden on the ticket is now growing. Texas Representative Lloyd Doggett was the first. That process, while it's messy, uh, if it's done in a fair and open way, may do a great deal to restore confidence in the Democratic process. A new CNN poll shows Vice President Harris faring slightly better against Trump than Biden, though the difference is within the margin of error, and she is underscoring her support. Joe Biden is our nominee. We beat Trump once, and we're going to beat him again, period. An embattled nominee seeking to steady the ship. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.